All right. Now we just go back and talk to uh, the rooster. again coming up. What is it you interrupt the great Van Beethoven with now? Boostwick, I did it. I found a place for all of you to stay. By job, you don't mean it. I do mean it. Come on, I'll show you. So, what do you guys think? Hmm. Quaint. Quiet. Tranquil even. It is no Schloss Saint Souci, but perhaps I shall lower my expectations in this instance. Yes, perhaps. Very well. You have helped the great Rustwick van Vitoriki to retire in peace. For that, you have my sincerest gratitude. Thank you, my dear. You are most welcome, Rustwick. I'm glad I could help. Now, if you'll excuse me, the ending so nice. Okay. I'm gonna talk to him again. Cause we gotta get something out of this rather than just helping the rooster. Usually like when you help someone they give you some kind of item. And he's a musician and the lake I gotta play some kind of music. I know it's gotta be the violin at the antique shop that they're talking about, but maybe something that I can get from him can help with the violin at the antique shop. I'm hoping. Oh it's you Again? Sorry to bother you, Roostwig. I was just wondering, do you think you could help me with one last performance? The Vice of Fallon. Come along. You must understand. Retired means retired. Finished. The end. I know, I understand. Really, I do. It's just, well, my grandpa is sick and... Please, please, spare me your tales of woe. I've heard it all. Mr. Roostwig? I did help you, remember? It would mean so much to me. <sighs> Very well. Here. I have no more use of it. If you so desperately need to hear the violin, well, I suggest you get practicing. Oh, well, I could give it a shot, I guess. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, I guess that's something. Right? Right. Okay. I know what to do. I gotta go in, I gotta switch the violin somehow. Uh, before we do that, I just wanna see what happens if I go over here and use the violin on the lake. But that's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming I gotta switch this violin out for the one at the antique shop. I just gotta find a way to do it without him knowing. Okay, let's see here. to entrance them, not anger them. You... you're saying I'm no good? Well, well, you know, it's not that you're exactly bad. Kill it! Kill it! Actually, yeah, it's pretty bad. Jeez, everyone's a critic. Oh, uh, well, can't win them all. But I don't have anyone else to play for me. I don't know, Anna. If that's the case, you need to get better somehow. Improving, huh? All right, thanks, Hans. I'll see what I can do. Oh, we still got an achievement for that. All right, yeah, we got, um... I'm assuming we got to switch out, because he did mention that that violin in there is like it plays like the greatest music or whatever something like that basically we need that violin just got to figure out how to switch them out 
I'm gonna try clicking on my violin and then clicking on that violin and see if she says anything, like a hint or something. What exactly are you doing? I just thought maybe I could have a try. No, just no. That is the most exquisite violin in all the land. And as a result, the single most valuable, expensive and unaffordable item in this shop. So, that's a no to trying? Not even for a budding young musician like me? A very large and definite no. Especially to you. I have an idea. I have an idea. We need to distract him. I would assume maybe playing some kind of sound, and I'm thinking this right up here. Just because that's... It's, the fact that that's the only thing over here on this side, really. I mean, the mannequins aren't going to do anything. And if I play this, he's just going to keep looking this way. We need to let him to look the other way. So I'm going to see if I can play him. <laughs> mm, aww. There we go. While he's distracted. There we go. Hold it. Hmm. Mm, just get out of here. <laughs> Got him. Jerk. I just want to see if maybe I can do to fall into the haystack. That was pretty funny and completely random. All right. Now we can entrance these witches. Bust it out, and let's do it. Okay, let's see here. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, to be completely honest, I kind of cheated. Never mind that. You broke their hold over the Amber Orb after all these years. It's... it's unbelievable. Well, I couldn't have done it without your help, Hans. If there's anything I can do for you, something to help your spirit rest... It's... It's strange, but I feel like, like you're already helping me. No, no, not me. It's actually an old friend. Oh, is that so? Well, that's good then, I think. It is. I feel at peace now. The reason I came here to this lake. It's so long ago, though. I just remember her reaching to me. She's so sad. It was me. I, I made her sad. Oh, Anna, it was a mistake. Such a terrible mistake. I... I should never have come here. Hans. 
But what you're doing, I can't explain it, but it's helping my friend. I know it is. Then let's get this spell done. For Grandpa and for her. Thank you for everything, Anna. Thank you. Goodbye, Hans. I hope you're at peace now, wherever you are. And there I was, the band of thieves all around, their eyes on the royal jewels. Oh, yes, I see. Wow, you sure are brave. And just then, as I raised the sword, right glinting right off my steel... Sir, there you are! Well, no, wait, this is the best bit! It's the girl, sir! She's been spoiled! What? Where? Sir, one of the villagers! They say they've seen her walk into this very town just this very night! By the stars! Right under our notice! The nerve! And the bare man! No sighting, sir! I will keep asking around about both of them, sir! Well, maybe it's a good idea to see if they've left the village. Because if I was them, but I'm definitely not. Definitely not. Well, that's what I'd do. Run away. Far away. <laughs> that is good of you, kind sir, to offer your simpleton assistance. This is a matter for the great minds of the Royal Guards, is it not? Sir, exactly right. As always, sir. We'll hop to it. Back to the nitty gritty, man. Let's root out those dastardly rapscallions once and for all. Oh, hurry, Anna. <laughs> and just like that, the Weissefrauen went down and brought the orb up to me personally. Thrilling. You have the orb anyway, that's all that matters. Well, yes, but you know that's quite a story, isn't it? Yes, nothing beats a child prattling on while people lay cursed and waiting. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm sorry. So two down, one to go. If you wish to discuss the last one, hurry up about it. The sooner you get the last item, the sooner we can save your grandpa. Uh, the last one is in the church. I best get looking for these objects, then. Um, yes. Okay. I'll see you soon, then, with the objects. Okay, then. Alright. Go and do another save. Let's go to the church. Welcome, young traveler. The stars be upon you. I have to kind of look at everything, I guess. It's sealed shut. Very thick and heavy looking, too. I wonder how it's opened. It's a bunch of people looking a bit crazy. They're all fighting each other. I really do love these. They're just so big and detailed and just lovely. The left one is showing an evil, dark, creepy looking figure underground amongst flames. The right window is a big red dragon flying above people celebrating. It's a big old beautiful church organ. It must play amazing music. Well, it would if you knew how to play. Which I don't. Hmm. It looks quite calm. There's some important looking people in the middle. And everyone around them is just watching them. Like they are in awe. Such a serious looking man. Just sitting there. Writing with his quill. Being serious. Hmm. I don't like this one. The girl looks so scared. She's reaching to this lady. The lady is just looking away and ignoring her. There's a little message here. It says, to keep lit the light of the red dragon and help her hold back the darkness. Hi there, uh, your grace, sir, your holiness. Oh dear child, no, no, please. 
Theodore will suffice. I'm sorry, it's my first time in a church. But it's nice to meet you, Theodore. My name's Anna. And a pleasure to meet you too, young one. Your church is very beautiful, Theodore. <laughs> Indeed it is. But, alas, it isn't mine. I'm simply looking after it, so to speak, and caring for all the people who come seeking the Red Dragon's protection. Oh, the dragon. I was told about a dragon that could fly people to the Glass Mountains. Ah, yes, that she could. However, it's now all so difficult to know. Anyone who greeted her as she sat atop the bell tower would be granted free passage throughout the land. Some say knowledge of the dragon has been lost to time. Others say that it's all but a myth. I simply stay here to carry on what she stood for and represented. That is important, with or without her. You say the dragon stood for something important? Oh, very much so. Her very presence drove the shadows from the land. You see, her scales were the red fire to light the way, and in turn, she protected us from the dark. But my grandpa told me there's nothing to be scared of in the dark. One time I was scared, but then Grandpa laughed because it was just a tree branch scraping on my window. <laughs> yes, it is true. Often the dark is nothing but a trickster. Unfortunately, the Lord of Dark revels in such tricks. The L Lord of Dark? Oh yes, Mephistopheles. He's known for his many names and many guises. But be not afraid, for thanks to the Red Dragon, we are all safe. Her presence forced him deep into the earth, you see. His trickery contained. Did you say the dragon would fly people from the bell tower? Where's that? I, yes, it's right through the door behind you. Alas, for many generations now, the door has been sealed shut. For years I've looked for a means to open it, but for years it has remained closed. This place was built entirely for the love of the Red Dragon. I'm sure many answers lie here somewhere before our eyes. I'm but an old man, not a detective. Any such indications have managed to elude me. Ooh, a detective mystery. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe I can have a look around for clues. <laughs> but of course. Be my guest, young one. Big windows at the back are so, so pretty. I love them. Oh yes, they really are remarkable, aren't they? I'm constantly in awe of their beauty. They commemorate the Red Dragon's work in chasing away the Lord of Dark. Oh wow, I would never have imagined something like that really happening. Do all these paintings around the room tell a story to them? Indeed they do. They tell their own story about Wunderhorn's days of magic. Ooh, could you tell it to me? By all means, I'd be glad to. Where would you like me to start? Can you tell me about the busy looking painting over there on the left? This was in the days before magic, when darkness and chaos ruled the land. Great powers were at odds. None could maintain order. What about this serene painting? It looks rather pleasant. Ah, yes, the second painting. This was a momentous time when the first witches of Wunderhorn rose to power. By their demonstrations of benign sorcery, they contained evil and brought peace and order. Who is the man in the portrait over there? Philip Vogt a direct descendant of the Great Witches and a crucial part of Wunderhorn's history. It was Philip who created the most powerful of spells. He summoned a dragon to banish the dark. It is said he built a shrine deep within a glade in Wunderhorn's woods in order to cast it there. This spell was of such power it cost him his own life. As he summoned the red dragon, he perished to save us all. Oh, wow. 
What a brave, selfless man. A shrine deep in Fundahorn's woods, huh? I wonder if I'm able to find that at all. Wait a second. I know where I've seen him before. I have a picture of him. Here, see? It looks just like him, don't you think? By the stars. I think you're right, young one. Where did you find this? Uh, it's a long story, but I found it in the witch's house. Hmm, how curious. And the girl here, it must be... It's Philip's daughter, Queen Yannicke. This girl is the queen? We don't really know much about kings and queens out on my farm. Indeed it is her, as a child, of course. Sadly, though, about a year ago, she just vanished. No one knows how or why. Yet another somber, unsolved mystery, I'm afraid. Can you tell me about the sad-looking painting on the right? Yes, uh, a sad painting indeed. A woman banishing a child for an unforgivable sin. The woman was said to be a great witch of Wunderhorn, and the girl, her very own daughter. Little is known of it, but the painting is said to have been made by a mute child who witnessed the tragic scene. Jeez, this is too sad. Let's talk about something else. Thanks for your help, Theodore. I best get going. Of course, young one. The stars be with you. Alright, the only thing I didn't examine was this, because I assume that these two are the same. I really do love these. They're just so big. The left one is... Yeah, it is. The right window is a... Hold on. I wonder if there's any clues like Theodore said. Let's see. This is no. Hmm. No. Nothing about a bell tower, I don't think. Nothing really looks out of the ordinary. Oh, wait. Except this. There's a small cluster of strange little symbols here on the right window. Huh. How about that? Not sure what it means, but it definitely is peculiar. I wonder if that's the same one that we found in the woods. But it doesn't seem to have any handles or whatnot to open it with. All right, I think that was everything. Let me see. It's a big old beautiful. Well, it would if you knew how. Yeah. Okay. Nothing new there. All right. Let me try to go back into the woods and look at the, um, the stump with the weird engravings. See if that maybe triggers something. grove Theodore talked about. Could it? If it is, if this is where Philip summoned the dragon, then there must be a clue. What have we here? How neat! It's like the patterns are burnt right into the wood there. This must be the shrine. It must be. But what does it mean? So mystical and mysterious. It's been so long since he's eaten anything but berries. I think he's all out of fire. If I'm going to give him something to eat, I should look for something dry and flammable. This is the portrait I- According to the minister, the girl is his daughter, Yannick. With Yannicka suddenly disappearing, I can't help wondering if Winfrieda was involved. It protected me from Winfrieda and should protect me from other spells, too. I'm making sure I keep it nice and close to me from now on. All right, I'm assuming we gotta get something for the dragon. Pitcher doesn't seem to be doing anything now. I'm surprised that the priest doesn't tell us who the person next to the daughter is. Maybe the guy only had one daughter and he doesn't know who the person is since the photo's ripped. Can we go to the village? They were all hiding away from Ben and I as we came in. I doubt they want to chat. 
All right, there's gotta be something else in here. Oh, wait, wait. Let me go back out. Can I examine this? No. Wow. I always thought these were really beautiful in my books at home. It's even more impressive in person though. So pretty. All right. I think there's anything in there. Let's go over here. The okay, these are just the same photos. Uh no. Can we feed the dragon trash to get his fire going? Yes? That won't work. No. Hmm. Okay. See now, okay, now this is like, now I'm kind of lost. I don't really know what exactly. Hmm. Oh, wait. How about the tavern? The tavern has that pot. That I'm, I'm sure the dragon can eat. Oh, why is it kind of dark? I'm gonna leave real quick and then come back in because for some reason this tavern is looking kind of dark. I guess this is gonna be dark. All right. Are you okay, B? Uh. Yes, B. Um, B. Yarn. B. Yarn. Yarn is what my name is, isn't it? Uh. Abba. Er. Uh, Abba. Abby. Yes. Yes, Abby. I am well, Abby. Good grief! You travelers have peculiar conversations. Do you always quibble over your own names? Oh, yes. Nothing like a good name quibbling. Here, here. To quibbling. I can't turn down a toast. To quibbling. But yes, yes, I'm fine, thanks. Just <laughs> hurry. We should get going as soon as possible, I think. Couldn't agree more. I'm figuring this out as quick as I can, I promise. Uh, I freaking love these guards. They're hilarious. Uh, let's try to feed the dragon this. No, that won't work. Never mind. There's a not very nice smell coming from there. I really don't think I want to know what it is cooking inside. I really don't. Maybe I can use a dragon on the coals. Oops, I right clicked when I meant to left click. Oh yes, these look perfect for you, little guy. <laughs> Must be nice to have some dragon friendly food after all those berries. All right. Uh, I just gotta figure out what to do. I'm gonna go back into the alley again. There's a lamppost. Okay, lamppost dragons. It's quite an old and intricate looking. Ah, look at that! A cute little dragon on top. Just like in the church window. Can we use a dragon to light him up? could certainly light the lamp for me, but it's too high up for him. I don't want to hurt the poor guy. No, no, no. Uh, can I bend the lamp down? Oh, yeah. If I bent the lamp down, I could light the lanterns. Then maybe I can light those pretty patterns on the window. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Aha! Now I can reach them. Am I gonna have to unbend them? Because I feel like I bent them way too low. I like how he's just like standing there, not noticing. 